Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. Well, you're probably missing my usual intro. That's because I'm on the road right now, but no worries. I have a bunch of videos lined up for you guys and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Okay, enjoy the video. Hey everybody, Mike here. We're in Maya 2020 and I hope you are all well. Right, so in today's video we're going to talk about artifacting and clipping and camera settings and that kind of stuff, right? So you probably ran into a problem at some point where you had black stuff popping up on your, uh, your model or parts of your model disappeared completely when you were zooming in and out, right? So that's what we're going to address. Now in order to do that we need to have a scene of course and we need to check our settings first. So we're going to go up to Windows, we're going to go to Settings, Preferences, and then we're going to go to Preferences. We're going to go to Settings and make sure you're set to centimeters, right? Okay. So what we need to do next is create some kind of model, and I am going to create a city. So a whole bunch of skyscrapers. Now you're probably thinking, okay, this is going to take forever. No, nope, it's going to take seconds. We're going to go up to Generate. We're going to go to Get Brush. We're going to go in here and under paint effects, we're going to click on city mesh. We're going to double click on Manhattan. We're going to close this out. And now we've got this big red round thing, which is basically a brush. So if you move this around on our grid, we're drawing buildings, skyscrapers, right? We're just going to make a whole bunch of them. There you go. And then we're going to stop and we're going to go up to edit. We're going to go to delete by type in history. Click on this guy, click right here. And there you go. One city. Now, in order for me to demonstrate this problem, I need to reproduce it. So I'm going to kind of fake create a problem, right? So I'm going to hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. And on the top left here, I'm going to click on that little camera that will select our active camera. And then if you go in here, you see we got two values for near clip plane and far clip plane, right? Okay, so let's make this a smaller number. Let's set this to a thousand. All right. Now, as we zoom in or out, what you will see, let me just change that a little bit more. Oh, there you go. Okay, so as we zoom out, you see that parts of the city are disappearing, right? Let me choose a little smaller number so you can see it better. Let's do 50. Okay, so now it's all gone. I zoom in and there you go. It's clipping. Yeah, that's the idea. Now, if you have that problem, what you need to do is you need to change the far clip plane. So if I make this a very large number, let's say one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros. There you go. It's all back, even when I zoom out. Yeah. Okay, now what's the second problem? Well, that is the near clip plane. Um, if you have a value of, let's say, I don't know, five. Well, let's go higher, let's do 500. Okay, right. So where do you go, right? Let's go to 50. You see a lot of black stuff going on there? That's the artifact thing that I was talking about. So if you've got a problem, something like that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a nice low number. So let's try 0 0.0001, and there you go. So that's all there's to it, guys. So play with a near clip plane with a far clip plane. Now, what's important is if you need to work on something very detailed, let's say you want to model something up here, and you can't get to it because you're going inside that object, then that's probably related to any of these two uh, settings here, right? So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, let me know in the comments if it was. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It would mean the world to me, right? See you guys next time. Bye.